we brought our kids home to this house, and now they mm -hmm. have friends in the neighborhood. We can't take them away from that. I think the kids, I think we deserve, you know, a better house to live in. We are definitely staying right here in this house. After seeing Leslie and Steve's home, David and Hillary are eager to learn more. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our forever home. <laughs> I love Wait it. a minute. Nope. <laughs> we have lots of questions for you. Yes, Come on do. in. Yeah, ready for them. Come on in. All right, so Hillary and I have been to your house, and we kind of were questioning. Who's the neat neck here? So, just, I love to keep the house tidy. Well, you have no you, always, less. you, you have no clutter. You have no clutter on your main floor. It actually Zero. looks like it was staged to sell, or you were getting ready to move. Ten years ago, we basically say, let's let's talk about selling the house. The next day, she had all the stuff off the walls. And in the ten years since, <laughs> you've kind of been like, we might go any minute. Yes. Is that why it stayed like this? Yes. And something has stopped you. This neighborhood is great. We have so many friends that we've made here. Because I don't see this as our forever home. Okay. I've done an evaluation on your home and the current value is $324,000. That's about right where we were thinking. What is your must-have list to get you out of this house, Leslie? Open and updated kitchen and living room, four bedrooms including a large master with an ensuite, three bathrooms, a bonus room for the kids, a separate space for Steve, a two-car garage, and a better lot. What's my budget? $540,000. All right. I'm good with that. Over to you. Tell me what your list is that you think I need to do to make you stay in this house. Renovate and redesign the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Create a space for myself. Create a play area for the kids. Renovate and enlarge the master bath. Renovate the upstairs bathroom. I'd like to add square footage and update the stairs. It's a short oh, list. What's my budget? $75,000. Anything above that, I'm going to want to see some quotes just to make sure that I know what we're spending the money on and then it makes sense to, to add value to the house. And I'm an accountant, so that's important to me. Bingo. <laughs> you do understand that depending on the finishes that you want, you're talking about this being billed as finishes and you want to upgrade that, that will hugely affect the budget. What you're going to do is improve the value of our house enough to where we can sell it. And David here is going to find me exactly what I'm looking for. And you know what, Steve? No matter what you decide, you're going to love it. I need to be wowed. You're going to be so wowed. It's this. going to happen right <laughs> over here. No. When I find you that house, you understand about this one is listed. After going on their journeys with David and Hillary, Steve and Leslie have made their way back home. I'm a little nervous. Well, let me tell you that starting with this brand new front door, you never have to say, builders finish again in this house. Fantastic. You ready? Yeah, I'm definitely. Ready. Can't wait to see what you've done. Wow. It's like Ooh. a brand new house. Brand new stairs. That's a surprise. I'm yeah. very happy with that. Let's go on in and look at your new man cave office. OK. Ooh, look at what this. The doors? Oh, wow. <gasps> look at the ceiling. The coffered wow. ceiling makes such a difference. Love the coffered ceiling. I've always wanted one. I can't believe <laughs> this is our house. Wow. This is great. I love the built-in. It looks fantastic. Carving out this space has given you a space where you could actually close the door, but it would also feel welcoming for the rest of the family. I might have to come in here with you and maybe even watch a game. That's OK, a let's keep start. going. <laughs> So now, oh, yay! Oh, look at this. The kids are going to <laughs> love, are love this. this. This is the room that was the catch-all, and now this is going to be a guest room when the sofa bed is in use. But most of the time, it's going to be a playroom for the children. Oh, that's oh. great! I'm excited for the kids to come nice. and see yeah. this later. Let's look at your space now. All right, your master bedroom. Oh, whoa! Oh. That is Holy very cow. different. Wow. You are good. This is, I know, it's almost like she knows what she's doing. <laughs> this is really nice. And now you're going to see how the bathroom, remaining the size that it always was, mm -hmm. works perfectly well. OK. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> wow. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You got rid of that tub. That was a great decision. 
the shower looks great. The whole way to make a smaller room feel larger is to have continuation. The floors continue through underneath the cabinetry and into the WC area, and the shower has this detail that runs into the floor. The choices are fantastic. The finishes are nice. This is better than we could have hoped for. All right, I'm glad to hear it, because when you see downstairs, I think that will seal the deal. Let's, Let's go. Do it. This is Whoa. a complete oh. rethinking of your main floor space. It sure is. Just remember how this was. The space was always good, and somehow yeah. it still wasn't spectacular. So now it is spectacular. I don't remember ever looking out the windows in the 14 years we've I been know. here, but now it makes me want to look out the windows and the windows, yeah. see everything. I love how you can see straight through them without the little grids. It's yeah, money, well, money well spent. Money well spent, yeah, for sure. You've still got a wonderful area here where you now can sit and have a semi-formal meal. <gasps> Look uh, at my storage. Oh. I've got cabinets and drawers. I think I had three drawers in my entire kitchen before. Oh, wow. And Look, you've it's got, got pull-outs. Pull -out. <gasps> oh, I don't have to go all the way down the hallway anymore for my pantry. Oh. I think this is <laughs> the best. No more being in yeah. the corner washing dishes. I've got multiple windows to look out of now. We took out the bay, but what you actually gained was practical space. I haven't even seen these high-end finishes and details even in the homes that we have seen. No, this is better than what we've seen. We'll definitely be spending a lot of time in here cooking, having friends over, entertaining. Welcome back to your house. Yes, Definitely. beautiful. You have been looking for the forever home for probably 10 years. A home that would give you a little more everywhere than you had here. Nice high ceilings, the double staircase, the walk out to that great space for your kids to play, but also for entertaining. Also on the main level, you have a dedicated private guest suite. Then you go to the second floor where you have that play area for the kids. And lastly, the third floor where you could just do whatever you want with. The third floor was, that was a wow moment for me. Now, before you make your decision, a yep. little bit of information for you. That is now the current value of the home with the renovation that has been done. The pre-renovation value of this home was $324,000 with a final renovation budget of $81,000. The new estimated value of this home is $410,000. That's an increase of $86,000. So, you guys have a decision made. Think about it and let us know when you're done. David found Leslie and Steve a home with a big backyard, open kitchen and living area, a bonus space for the kids, and all the bedrooms and high-end finishes they were looking for. But it was a little over budget. Hillary was able to create a space for Steve, completely renovate their main floor kitchen, dining, and living areas, update their windows and finishes, and give them a brand new master bathroom. However, she was not able to add square footage, create a dedicated bonus space for the kids, or increase the size of their master bath. And she had to ask for more money. This is incredible. I mean, I'm, I'm shocked by standing here, given what they had before. It's beautiful. It is. Don't forget the space of the other house that we don't have here. But look at the space that has been made for you here in our house. And they ended up making a space for the kids upstairs. What in your house was not as good as we have in this house? This is a much nicer island. Oh, you're so full of it. The other so. kitchen in the other house, it's good. Yeah. But I don't think it can compare to this one. Budget. $10,000 over. It, it's, it's right at the top. In my world, $10,000 is a whack of money because it's real money. With yours, it's toy money because, ah, oh, spread it out over 10 years. It's a tough decision. What do you think? I've made my decision, too. Hey, look, they made a decision. Oh, OK. OK, so decision made? I think so. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to list it. Awesome. I found the forever house. <laughs> we love everything that you did here from the kitchen, the amazing detail and finishes, but the possibilities with that other house are just endless. You're All right. Welcome. Thank you so much. Good luck yes. in your new Thank home. You. Thank you very much. After blending their families eight years ago, Robin and her two kids moved into this five-bedroom home with Todd and his two kids. 
It was perfect for the children because it has a bedroom for everyone. Since then, all their kids have grown up and moved out. At this point, we have our dog, Lido, who is kind of the center of our life since the kids have all gone off to college and the working world. And now it's just time to start a new chapter in a new location that fits our lifestyle better. Why do we have all these bedrooms? One, two, three, four, five. The kids will still probably come to visit. It's nice for them to have a place to stay. I love I the children, but I don't want them to come and live here. Mm. And if we have space, they might come back. <laughs> we've got memories here, though. I mean, we've, we started our married life here together. I want a trendy place that is just for us, that's just you and I. Robin is feeling like this house is a bit dated, that it doesn't really fit us any longer, and I agree with most of it. So there's nothing in this kitchen that I like. We have that big pole in the middle of the living room. When we have game night, we have people everywhere, and, well, this pole gets in the way of everything. So you're telling me you don't like poles in the house? I don't like <laughs> poles in the house. I do not. I want to be able to live downtown where we can go out, go to the games, go to the bars, go to the restaurants, walk everywhere, and be close to the action. I love the idea of downtown, but there's so many things that we like having a fenced-in yard for our dog. When you walk into the house, the first thing you see is Todd's office. Who wants to walk into a desk that's messy? It's not always messy. I keep it clean for the most part, but occasionally there's clean? some... With these, with these, all this, it's just junky looking. I don't like the cabinets in the master bath. I don't like the floor in the master bath. I don't like the gold fixtures. I don't like the closet. Obviously, we had to have this terrible, big, ugly thing put in here because we don't have enough space for our clothes. The closet situation is not great. There are ways that we can get around that and get that fixed. If this house was done top to bottom, I, I still don't feel like it would meet our needs. We're definitely out of here so we can start our new life downtown. We can redo some of the things in the house to make it more functional, make it more of what we would like it to be, and it keeps a home base that we established over many years together. Possibly. After finding a beautiful home downtown with David and Hillary working some design magic with her reduced budget, Todd and Robin are ready to see their finished house. Look at you, all yes, smiles. So excited. Thank you very much. Well, I know you. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, oh, wow. this is so nice. Wow. <laughs> this is beautiful. It doesn't even look like the same house. Well, let's remember what the house was. Fax machine. Yeah. Muddly, muddly, messy desk. Yes. yes. It just seems so much bigger. This is beautiful. And your guests can come straight in, yeah. get yeah. a glass yeah. of something yeah. lovely, nice yeah. little cocktail, and then yes. wander their way on through. When you look back this way yeah. towards your dining table, uh, you see oh. how lovely it looks with the windows framed by the yeah. curtains. I love it. OK, well, excellent. You can say you love it, and I like that. <laughs> just keep saying that. You know what's <laughs> sitting behind here. Yes. So I'm sure you want to take a look at this yes. all yes. finished. Oh, oh, man. This is gorgeous. Look at this. It's perfect. I will very much like it because it creates privacy if I need it, but obviously could just open the door and not feel like I'm closed off. So now we've set the tone. Mm -hmm. It's your space. Mm -hmm. So let's keep Subscription. going because it just yeah. gets better from here. Gosh! As I told you, we would have to keep your cabinetry. Yeah. And ta-da, they've all been refaced, painted, this beautiful, beautiful gray. Oh, I love it. It makes it seem so much brighter in here. Well, yes, but that's also because you have more oh, light the, coming look in. The slider. Look at the Oh, Lido. We moved uh. the doggy door. So there it is. I love the color contrast with the blue and the gray. This is very soft gray. And then with the chevron that we've already put into the bar and the contrasting blue, the two spaces tie together. It That's flows. beautiful. I want to really have you imagine this place filled with your friends. So you've got friends who can sit mm -hmm. up at the counter. They can hang out around yeah. here. You could have 10, 15 yeah. people comfortably hanging Definitely. out right here. Moving into this area, this now looks elegant. It does. It's just quietly there. Like it just, it feels so cozy. The continuation of the space yeah. into the bar area. Yeah. Everything visually connects. It does. 
I can't get over how much of a difference it makes there just two with the hardwoods all the way through. Yeah, that and taking out that wall, those are physical changes that have given you the continuity and the light that you need here. Well, we're going to go upstairs next. Upstairs? Yes. Ups oh. Upstairs? We didn't know yes. anything was going on upstairs. Not much, but something to show you. <gasps> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this is so pretty. Miraculously, I found myself with this little bit of extra money. You now have LVT flooring. I love no carpet. it. And then we picked up space right here for another closet. Oh, wow. Oh, this is perfect. It is perfect. That gives me more space. Yeah. <laughs> That's really the point. <laughs> gives you more space. There's just one other little thing I want to show you. Because I closed off the wall in that bonus room to give you your closet. And mm -hmm. I just want you to see how it looks now. Come and take a look at that. This is awesome. It's so sleek. Well, we knew we had to compete with downtown. Yeah. yeah. Well, we saw nothing like this downtown. Yeah. I just could see us playing poker up and not having to rearrange right. all of downstairs because we want to have people over to play cards or do yeah. something. We squeezed every last penny out of that budget that you gave us, finally. You did well with it. You did a lot. Welcome back to your house. Thank you. This is gorgeous. Let's talk about the next possible chapter in your life that has you closer to downtown, the restaurants, the shops, and then it comes with a fantastic house. Completely open concept, eat-in kitchen, family room combination. And the walk out to the backyard, you got two great bedrooms for guests and for your kids. Right. Then you have your master bedroom, which was beautiful. Mm, it was. And then a beautiful master bath. With no gold. With no gold. I think you still got some gold upstairs. Yes. We do. We do. Before you make your decision, I have one more listing to show you, and it's yours. That is now the current value of your home with the renovation that has been done. Wow. The pre-renovation value of this home was $345,000. With a final renovation budget of $65,000, the new estimated value of this home is $420,000. That's an increase of $75,000. Yeah, a lot to think yeah, about. Yeah. Well, yeah, Talk about it and let us know. David found Robin and Todd the home they were looking for near downtown with an open concept kitchen and living room, a nice backyard area, a large master bedroom, and a gorgeous master bath. And it was also below their budget. Hillary opened and completely updated their kitchen with a new island, hardwood floors, and a bar area. She created a dedicated office for Todd, added new flooring and a closet to their master bedroom, and updated their bonus room. But after losing $20,000 of her budget, she had to keep their existing kitchen cabinets and was not able to renovate the master bathroom or master closet. I love the bar. I knew you'd love the bar. It's very cool. It is cool. The other house was right there downtown. It was a beautiful house from top to bottom and down. Town. We could walk to everything we mm -hmm. wanted to walk to. And it had open concept as well, just a smaller version of this, really. Parking is fine. Garage, another story. Being back in here, it's crazy how big it is. It it's, looks really nice. We would still have some projects here. I mean, I know you don't like the gold. Where did your house fall short? The only thing I didn't give them, which they really wanted, was a garage. Who wouldn't? It gives them a house that they don't have to think about for the next 20 years. Here, they still got renovations to do. The bathroom here has not been done, that's true. Both bathrooms. I think we've made a decision. I think so. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll find out. Okay, so, decision made? Yeah. yeah. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to love it. Oh, I thought you guys wanted to be downtown, no. we, where the we, action we, is. We did. You just can't replicate this space. We would have never guessed our house could look like this. It was a pleasure working with you guys. And have Thank some you. wonderful parties Thank and you. make new memories. Yes, yes, we will. Nanika lives in this three-bedroom 1990s home with her son Xavier, Nigel, and the oldest Isaiah, who handles a lot of the family responsibilities. I manage the household. Basically, I'm the chef. When I first bought this house, it was just two kids. Now, we only have three bedrooms, but we have four people. As her two older boys grew up in the family home, Nanika gave them their own rooms, which means... I share a bedroom with my seven-year-old son, and that is not fun. 
I need my own space. I need my own bedroom. I don't think Xavier and Nadja want to leave. Since we've been here, we made it home. Don't you think a new house would be so, so much better? I think we should renovate. Everything in this house needs to be updated. The ceilings, the floors. We can fix the floors and the roof and the front door and the back door. All of that. From the front to the back? Yeah. <laughs> Not the front door and the back door? <laughs> <laughs> we got a Christmas tree right here. We got our games over here. We don't have any storage in this house. It's a bedroom with kitchen cabinets. Add on to this house and Nas will have his own room, have his own bed, and you'll have your own space back. No, no, no. I want something brand new, and I'm going to get it. There's no way my mom is going to find a house so close to her job, so close to my brother's schools. We have a basketball goal and a trampoline that we jump on. Everybody have a good time outside. But what about the inside? I need a bigger space. Everything about the kitchen needs to be updated, and it's so tiny. But let's be real here. I'm the cook. My son is an amazing chef, but he deserves a kitchen that he can use. You're right, and we can do that. Throw away the kitchen and put a new one in. OK. When I walk into the house, there is a ironing board in the hallway. If somebody tried to walk down the hallway, they couldn't get through. Our laundry is in the kitchen. And I know my mom is frustrated with it, but it just needs to be moved somewhere else. Well, we need a room where we can just iron and iron only. You want an ironing room? <laughs> <laughs> my master bathroom, everything needs to be updated. I need a brand new bathroom. There's a broken toilet. The vanity is so old. And the bathrooms do need to be updated. And with this renovation, we're definitely going to get that taken care of. Who's going to pay for it? I am. Here, we already have equity built into this house. And we can take that and equity and renovate. And we also have equity that we can add to a new house. We can't afford that. You can't afford that. I can. <laughs> I understand we've been through a lot. And my mom had to make a lot of sacrifices. But I want her to be able to walk into this home and understand it was worth the struggle. Bigger, better, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. With the final touches good to go, Nanika and Isaiah are ready to see their finished home. Hey there. Hello. <laughs> Listen, before you come up, just tell me, what do you think of the paint now? Because you didn't really like it. I'm loving it. It's fabulous. Good. I always liked it. I know you did. I know you did. All right, come on in. Whose house is this? <laughs> This is absolutely amazing. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, look at your fireplace. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so... <laughs> look at how good it looks. It's so amazing. <sighs> Take a deep breath. The loss of words, oh. really. The back wall is now all cabinetry. This is sort of sophisticated, but still cozy. Cozy, yes. Just yes. Like this is absolutely amazing. And in a minute, we're going to look at the kitchen when we turn the corner. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yo. Oh, <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me, God. Yes! <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale, and I'm the princess. So whose house is this? Oh. Your famous pantry is still in place. Oh, wow. The island is the key to this working. It is. Because it's all about storage, right? OK, yes. This is the hangout space. It is. They are still separate. You've still got the sense of that being eating and living and yes. this really being the kitchen area. I love them. This is so bright and airy in here. It's, yeah. It's, it's luxury. All right, all right, let's look at the laundry. OK. <laughs> This is what I needed. This is what I wanted. When I first came into your house, the ironing board was set up right here. <laughs> so here it is now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's time to check out the bedroom and bathroom. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah, I like this color, this green. It's not grimy anymore. So everything in here is new. 
check out the shower head. Oh, oh yeah, they got the double shower head. That's I can't nice. wait to see my, my bathroom. If this That's bathroom nice. looks this nice. <laughs> yeah. In comes the queen. Oh! <laughs> Happy dance. <gasps> happy, happy dance. This is like from a magazine. You've got room in there for you to share with Nigel for now. OK. And then your closet. Oh, I forgot about the closet. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh Lordy. Look at all my shoes. This is your sanctuary. This is perfect. Now you go to take a deep breath. Because now we're going to go and look at your bathroom. Ooh. This is wonderful. Nice and beautiful. And we've picked up a whole lot of storage for you here. Look at this damn dude. <laughs> so you know I can yeah. do my lashes. Exactly. <laughs> this is wonderful. Nice. I've got one more surprise for you. Oh, wow. You've got another seating area, eating area, so you can take some pressure off. But most importantly, Ooh, outside storage. Serious storage. We're actually making a feature out of it, which is why we custom painted it that lovely gray with the white trim. And it matches the house. Well, of course it does. <laughs> So, welcome back to your house. How are you guys doing? Great. It's overwhelming. And she does incredible work. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like it's missing something. How about a Nanika Oasis? <laughs> a place for the you? Lady, the Lady Cave. The Lady Cave. <laughs> your own bedroom, your own bathroom. My own space. Then you go upstairs. It's got a family room where you can hang out with the boys, yes. a beautiful kitchen, a walkout to a beautiful deck, a massive shed for storage, three times the size of the one I'm looking at. Four bedrooms in the house, which means you never have to share. That's correct. And only $264,000, just slightly over your budget, mm -hmm. but it gives you double what you have here. Now, before you make your decision, I have a little more information for you. That is now the current value of your home with the renovation that has been done. Whoa. Bank. The pre-renovation value of their home was $145,000. With a renovation budget of $75,000, the new estimated value of their home is $235,000. That's an increase of $90,000. Which makes that house affordable. Whoa. Hillary was able to add outside storage and renovate their entire kitchen, the living and dining spaces, and the laundry area. She also updated the hall bathroom, as well as Nanika's bedroom, closet, and bathroom. However, without the new fourth bedroom, Nanika will still be sharing her space with her youngest son. David found them a great house with four bedrooms, a gorgeous eating kitchen, a big backyard with storage, a carport, and Nanika would have her own bedroom, bathroom, and hangout space. But it was over budget. How did you? Do all of this. But they're much pretty nice, huh? But, but everywhere. Everything about that house was just so nice. I mean, even the space about it, it was very functional. So were you thinking how it just would fail? No, I didn't think you'd fail, but I didn't think it would look like this. Actually, it looks a lot better than even I thought it would. It was very functional, and I feel like Hillary has bought that here, too. I just don't think it delivers enough. Of course you don't. That's your job. I know. Do you know what the whole lower level was? <gasps> I don't. Nanika's. Downstairs, my own lady oasis. <sighs> we don't have that here. I delivered 2,000 square feet of Say it again. How many? 2,000 square feet. And what about the budget? Uh, 264,000. Their budget was 250. What do you think makes more sense, Mom? I'm not quite sure. So, decision made? Yeah, we've come to a decision. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to list it. Fantastic decision. <laughs> it's the Nanico Oasis, isn't it? The Lady Cave got me. Even though I was in so many tears and this house is just perfect, it fits us to move into the other house. And the kitchen is just as nice, so I'm not losing too much. I'm so glad that you love the transformation here. But I totally understand. Thank you. So nice knowing <laughs> you both. 
Tammy and Garrett live in this four-bedroom 1970s ranch-style home with their two daughters, Hannah and Sarah. They purchased the house 11 years ago when they were in search of a single-story home that would accommodate Garrett's wheelchair. But it's no longer working for him and he's ready to go, while Tammy wants to stay in the house she loves. I have muscular dystrophy. For the last 15 years or so, we've been dealing with that, and it's just getting to the point now where it's more difficult to walk. We wanted to find a house that was on one story. And we knew that multiple levels was um, going to be not only challenging, but potentially hazardous. When we were looking, there was only two houses on the market that fit the bill, and so this one seemed to be the best, the best option. But as the kids have grown up here, I've realized that I like one-story living, and I like a smaller space. And in fact, knowing that there's just very few ranches out there available, I think that's even more reason for us to fix up this house and stay here. It would okay. just make more sense to just buy a place. It's not configured for my needs for my disability. I mean, we've got a ramp that's on the back, but we need two entrances. I mean, there's a, there's a safety issue there, and there's some nice hardwoods that are in parts of the house, and in other parts, there are carpets and thresholds and things to step over. One of the things that's easiest to do is to refinish flooring and make it consistent throughout the house. Right. Yeah. Hey, we should, so we send you this I don't really have a dedicated hangout space in the house, and so the garage has become that space. Yeah. We had this idea when we did a tiny expansion on the house a few years ago to create a dedicated space for me. Tammy's space it was a mistake. It had a lot of potential at first. And she does need her own space for her things and to retreat, but it is right off the living room. It is narrow. It's essentially a glorified closet. The problem is, is just we collect things here and there's no privacy at all, so it's not good for a space to hang out in unless it's part of the rest of the hangout space. Laundry and, and pantry is chaos. We never seem to have enough room for anything. The laundry is right next to the kitchen. It is small, it is in the way, and it's overflowing with everything that is laundry. Laundry is not really something that, that you put as the centerpiece of your house. Every house has a laundry room, and so what? A pantry that just needs to be decluttered a little bit? It's not that big a deal. The office situation is, is fine for me. We have a two-person desk that we built into the room. I think the idea of us sharing an office sounded great on paper, but we have two very different work styles. Tammy wants to be blaring her music, and I need to concentrate. I need to have things a little bit cleaner. You do have a point there, honey. It's bound to happen sooner or later. The master suite is super disorganized, and the master bedroom has a, a master bathroom, which is super tiny. The bathroom absolutely has to be overhauled. It's 16 square feet of glory that uh, is at some point going to be the end of me. That, 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 will, be, that will be how I go, and, uh, and I loved you. <laughs> Best solution for us is to find a place that has the features that we want, such as a place where Tammy can entertain her friends, and a place where the kids can continue to, to grow and expand, and a place that's safe for me. I just have faith that we can accomplish everything we need to do here and keep our kids here and keep us here with our friends and our network. This may not be that great of a house, but it is a fantastic home, and there is no way you're dragging me out of here. It is a fantastic home, and I've got a lot of horsepower on this wheelchair, so I'm pretty sure I can drag. Tammy and Garrett are excited to see their newly renovated home, and the exterior has already won Tammy over. I always wanted um, a place in the front of the house, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Very good. And how do you feel about the color, your lime green? Well, I, I think I like the color quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Excellent. You were so concerned with the fact that your house should not actually show a ramp. Very I nice. feel that we solved this. I like it. Are you ready to see what's behind the fence? I'm ready. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, if this is really um, way above my expectations. Wow. Tammy, this is for you and your girlfriends. This is really stunning. And occasionally, Garrett, when you allow. When he's allowed. When I'm allowed. Yeah. <laughs> I just have always wanted a front porch, and I didn't think this house would lend itself to it, but it does. It's wonderful. I can't wait for my girlfriends to see it. You ready to see the rest of your house? Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. This was your daughter's room, so we turned your old master into one of the children's rooms. Oh, perfect! This is a very new place. The walls are still neutral, but the upholstery brings in the fun. These are ways of just bringing color into, into the room for you. It's stunning. Just brilliant. Wow. 
Wow. If you had just plunked me in this room, I would never believe this was our house. <laughs> Doesn't it feel huge? It is the huge. fireplace is gorgeous and the colors. This is awesome. It's amazing. It's all universal design everywhere, but this is so that you are that. part of the action as much as you want to be. Right. And to make that even easier, this is a lift chair. Oh, nice. And then when you're ready to get back in the chair, yep. it will just help you up and out. No, this is, this is great. We move on here to the dining area. And notice your floors, which are brand new. Wow. It's visually seamless. And now... I love the wider doorway. This is how we reworked the space. Oh, my gosh. OK. Loads of storage. They're deep and wide and, and just perfect for all of our storage needs. And then let's talk about this. A proper laundry area. So anything we don't want to put in the dryer, we just hang here. Yeah. I love good design. I have a fabulous team. What can I tell you? Whoa, cool. <laughs> hey. This is really This is nice. our bedroom. It's amazing. This is hard to believe it was your garage. We have created not just an extra bedroom for you, but it's your little sanctuary. Right. right. You have a his and her closet space. I mean, that's pretty cool for anybody. Wait, all of this is mine? Well, unless Garrett decides to take over part of it, but I think he's in good shape with his. So it comes all the way down. I was wondering how was it going to reach up there. That's how. <laughs> that is cool. Genius. No, this is wonderful. Yeah, it's really great. I really like this. All right, so there's a bathroom for you behind here. Whoa, it's big. This is really nice. Separate vanities, Garrett. This is a custom vanity made for you. I can just roll right under this guy. And look, I can take the wheelchair directly into the shower. You've got your grab bar here, and there's another one underneath the actual shower head. Yeah. So they look awesome. But they're functional. Well, they are. Tammy, you have a tub. It's a beautiful tub. There was so much thought that went into every component in here. Do you feel like this is a place now that you can feel comfortable in on your own? Yes, I think that you've done a fantastic job. Welcome back to your house. Thank you. Thanks. It's a wild transformation. It really is. Yeah. It's nice. In terms of our search, I feel like I was almost looking for like a needle in a haystack. We got lucky and we found an incredible house. Great location. And it was rustic on the outside, but as soon as you walk in, you've got this nice. incredible modern design. Yeah, it's very sleek. With the perfect amount of open concept for you. Agreed. Then you go to the bedroom wing, where you've got two great bedrooms for your kids and a master bedroom that was not just a master bedroom. It had its own sitting room. The master bath was beautiful. The only thing you're obviously gonna have to do is fix the shower. Correct. Yeah. And all of that, and it was under budget. That house was really a gem, really a good find for you, David. You have a decision to make, but I have a little more information for you before you make that decision. That is now the current value of your home with the renovation wow. that has been done. Wow. That's nice. The pre-renovation value of their home was $355,000. With a renovation budget of $146,000, the new estimated value of their home is $515,000. That's an increase of $160,000. So obviously you can afford that house. Correct. Yes. Easily. <laughs> Hillary was able to give them a gorgeous outdoor space with a ramp, make the house fully accessible for Garrett, create a space for Tammy, update their living dining room with new floors throughout, create a new mudroom laundry space, and a new master bedroom and bathroom with plenty of storage. David found them an open concept three bedroom, three bathroom house with a universal design, potential for a fourth bedroom and private space for Tammy. However, they would have to spend in order to make the master bathroom fully accessible for Garrett. When this started, I thought I had zero chance. I mean, you're basically designing this specifically for them and their needs. Now we've got zero garage or any sort of outside storage for refrigerators or anything else, so that's going to be a problem. Now what percentage of a chance do you think you have? 50-50. Uh, I think you're incredibly optimistic, 50%, but that's OK. <laughs> <laughs> we have the luxurious position of having two great houses that we could choose from. And yet, both of them need to have a couple of more things done to make them ideal. Yeah. So it's whether they want to stick with what they're used to mm -hmm. or step out. Do I think that's 50-50? If it makes you feel good, yes, I'd say it's 50-50. OK, so decision made? Decision made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? 
we are going to love it. Oh, wonderful. I, I guess I didn't have a 50-50 chance, did I? No, you had a 50-50 chance. <laughs> it just didn't work out very just well. Just went that wrong way. Yeah, yeah. I really still think about that house, and I can't believe you were able to find it. We were so close. It just came down to, to money. I mean, Hillary's done a great job with the house, and over there, we still need to pave the driveway. We still need to put in a ramp or a lift or something. So thank you for everything that you've done, and thank you. It's been my pleasure. Well, as long as you guys are happy, that's the main thing. Yeah. I think I'll be very happy. Yeah. Good. Peter lived in the suburban house with his mom after he left his life in the city to help her out. My mom was a widow at the time, and I had to be there for her. Once there, he met Cheryl, and the two eventually purchased it together and had their two children here. My family and my life as I've known it for the last 23 years would not have existed had we not moved into this house. It was always, you know, my mother-in-law's house. It's never really felt like our home. I'm not one for a lot of change, but if that's what it's going to take to stay here, then I'm willing to do that. If we're going to renovate, then we might as well do it all so we can make lots of money and then sell it and find the other house of our dreams. Welcome back to 1980. Beautiful white old tiles that have been here for 30 years. Peter put in the laminate flooring that we have in right now, and it's terrible, and it's very dated. Again, we have the old banisters. No. Staircase can be replaced. Yes, but I want to find a place that has everything done. This is just too closed in. It's like, it's very structured. You can make it the room of your choosing. Just get Hillary to design it for you. This is wasted space. We don't need all this space. Uh, this is probably the biggest eyesore for me in the whole house. The kitchen is outdated, but the kitchen has a ton of potential. Think of the memories we've created here. I agree. Imagine Those walking back memories. into this kitchen and it's everything you want. And then you have the memories and the new kitchen. It's a lot of work though. It is. It's a ton of work. It is. This is just too closed in. I want open space. It feels like we're in a box, right? Well, you are in a box, but if that wall was gone, it's one big open area with a gas fireplace. It's like an entertainer's dream. Let's just move on upstairs to our uh, main bedroom. Your bedroom is supposed to be an area where it's calming and peace, and it's a getaway instead of sitting at your desk and then going to bed afterwards. Bedroom's right? where I get all my work done. <laughs> and the ensuite, nothing says ensuite like tiles from 1980. I love this bathroom. <laughs> I love coming in here every morning <laughs> and admiring the amazing bathroom that it is. I get it. We're due for a facelift. You know, I think it's beyond a little redesign. Overhaul is what we needed. <laughs> <laughs> in a few years, our kids will be gone, and we're not going to need all this space. I want a place that every room has a purpose and a function, and there's a flow to it. I want a place that has memories. We started our family here. I want to retire here. This house means a lot to me. So I'm a little nervous that Cheryl's not gonna wanna stay. I'm definitely ready to move and I know in my heart that we're going to find something. While Hillary's team works on the finishing touches, Hillary and David head on over to the house. Can I ask you a question? What didn't you do? Why do you need to know? Do you understand what a question is? <laughs> do you? Because I don't think you do. It's funny. I always do um, answer a question with another question. It's true. Mm -hmm. Well, when I don't like the question. But I'm going to find out anyways. I'm just asking exactly. you beforehand. You don't answer it if you don't want to answer it. I don't want to answer it. And the question seems fairly pointless to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you have to wait to find out. I guess that's what we'll have to do. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. I'm already a little emotional. But... You're emotional. Yes. I might be if Cheryl is. <laughs> really? Oh, you'll set him off? Yeah. I can sometimes, yes. Oh, great. Are you ready? Yeah. Steady? Go. Yes. Go. <laughs> this just doesn't look like our house. It's not supposed to look like our house. <laughs> Steady. That's the reaction I wanted. <laughs> Okay, I'll pull it together now. Wow. You don't have to pull it together. Beautiful. It's stunning. We're gonna continue on in. And then <laughs> here is <laughs> the dream this. kitchen. Come on in. <laughs> so we had a wall right here. We did. I, I'm just trying to take it all in. There like, is a lot to oh, take in. I take gosh. it all in at once. So first of all, I want you to see the connection with your living room. This is stunning. 
Of course, the big thing here was the window. Remember that? Yes. And I'm not going to keep throwing that in your face. <laughs> but I might. So we have light coming from the front, transferring to light from the back. Oh, nice. And this is why I knew it didn't matter. You called but you it. Didn't, you didn't know. It's I OK. Did. I mean, the storage is insane here. So you've got storage within this island. Wow. Look at these countertops. The countertops okay. are Sunny. beautiful and very low maintenance. Wow. Oh, this is gorgeous. And oh. again, I want you to see how the connection is now. It, it just again, flows beautifully. It, that's exactly what this is for. It's about visual flow mm -hmm. and an actual yes. physical flow. Wow, what a table. You can, as you see, comfortably have eight here. Yes. And then mm. you still have the bar um, stools. Exactly. But now we move on. <laughs> I love the accents on the wall. Wow. Yes, the paneling oh, is lovely. room. So cozy. I mean, isn't this lovely? Beautiful. Everyone will hang out in here. I'm thrilled with how this turned out. I'm I am, thrilled. I'm thrilled, Are too. You thrilled? I'm thrilled, and I didn't know if I was going to be thrilled, but I'm beyond good. Oh, my God. Wow. This Very is nice. fabulous. And now we have people use our well done. Yeah, we won't be embarrassed powder room. It. We won't be embarrassed about it. Everything is up to par with the rest of the renovation. Oh, I love it. Onward and upward. Go on up ahead oh, of me. Oh, I love the hardwood upstairs. <laughs> Our kids have a nice bathroom now. <laughs> I love the shower. Wow, I didn't oh expect that. God. I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's oh so my different. Oh my God, it's not even the same. It is so different. It's different. You close that door, wow. and this is your space. Yes. Blue is one of the most calming colors. Yep. It just actually does calm you. It's beautiful. I love it. Sir. Our voices are calm. Maybe because the room yeah. is calming. <laughs> now, the ensuite. <laughs> wow. Oh, my god. Very nice. Wow. I can't even remember what it looked like Well, before. let's start with the fact there was a window. <laughs> yes, OK. But honey, look how bright it is still, no, right? Plenty. The fact that this is also white, less light gives you more. Sure. Nothing's mm -hmm. absorbing the light. It's all bouncing the light. Sure. Once again, you were right. Look yeah. at this shower. Oh, and a little tub. We got your little tub. Beyond expectations. Yes, you've outdone yourself. Holy moly, what a transformation. It Isn't definitely it? is, yes. This is incredible. It's fantastic. It but is beautiful. Let's talk about what life would be like at the Stone Bungalow. Mm -hmm. An incredible location, close to a golf course, walking distance to the lake, and a backyard to die for. It's true. Yes. It was a fabulous location. It was. And then you walk into the house, and you guys both loved it. You've got your office space to the right, which mm -hmm. was beautiful, mm -hmm. with that bay window. Mm -hmm. The beautiful eat-in kitchen with the huge island. Mm -hmm. A main bedroom that was extremely spacious. A great bathroom with a shower that needs a bit of a tweak. But it's not an emergency. It's not like you have to do that today. Then you go downstairs where the real fun begins. Mm -hmm. Theater room, a gym. It had everything. I mean, life there would be a lot different than life here. Now yeah. is the time to do it while you have the money to do it. This is the new value of your home oh, wow. with the renovation that has been done. So you wow. can easily afford that place. The pre-renovation value of this home was $925,000. With a final renovation budget of $175,000, the post-renovation value of this home is $1.2 million. That's an increase of $275,000. Even if you want to tweak that shower, you've got the money to do it. Interesting. Talk about it. OK. And decide, you know, which house you think makes the most sense for your future. That kitchen is pretty, it's pretty darn it's awesome, crazy. I got to admit. There was so much space once the walls came down. Yeah, yeah. It just Insane exploded. amount of space. I'm blown away by what Hillary's done here. No, absolutely. She delivered on everything that we wanted. If this was all about the house, then I would be in a lot of trouble. But I suspect it's not, because I suspect this is about house 
and lifestyle. We have always talked about a bungalow with a big piece mm -hmm. of property. David had a good point when he was talking about, are you thinking about just now in the present, or are we looking at five to 10 years down the road? Why did you get to the point? How much was yours? Well, it just so happens that the house was um, under budget. Wow. I think I've made my decision. Have you? Yeah. I think I've made my decision, too. All right, so decision made? Mm -hmm. Yes. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to love it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. Lake. I'm looking at you, Peter. Sorry. Golf course. I tried. We love it. Yeah, David, That's you did nice. an awesome job. And that last house had lots of beautiful things. But, you know, when you walk into this, it's just, it's a done deal as soon as we walked in, basically. Oh, I have something for you. There's more? Cover your eyes. OK. Keep an eye on them that they can okay. cover. Keep their eyes covered. You can open them if you want. What could it possibly be? Peter, this is for you. You can look. <laughs> <laughs> With a bow. My window. window. You know, I kept saying I don't want to rub it in, but you know that I really did. <laughs> <laughs> Colin and Beth purchased this 1,800-square-foot cottage outside the city with a family in mind. When Beth and I first moved in here, we did some cosmetic work. Doing the main floor was just the tip of the iceberg of all the work that actually has to be done here. Well, there's some modifications that we need to make. There's some upstairs, majorific but... modifications that need to be made. Renovating the rest of the house is one thing, but now this couple faces a bigger challenge, a new addition. Four months from now, everything's going to change because we are having our first baby. This house is not ready for a baby at all. Okay, well, I agree that the house is not ready at the moment. When I first moved into this house, it was divided. Sort of the main floor was our area and there was uh, an apartment upstairs. The bedrooms are all sp sporadic and divided up and too small. Basically, the space is not usable. There is little or no insulation in the wall. Up until now, it's been very easy for Colin and I to exist on the other side of the second floor and completely ignore this space. The bathroom is the only way to get from one side of the house to the other, so I would consider it more of a hallway that has a toilet in it which is weird. It's not just the second floor that has this family frustrated and freezing. We have a beautiful front sun porch that at the moment we don't use for anything because it's not insulated. The basement is pretty much the most frightening place on earth. I'm the one who has to go down two flights of stairs into the basement to do laundry. And I can't imagine having to do that with a baby in my arms. The office space is a huge bone of contention. I use it. Beth uses it as well. Colin is a cameraman. I have a lot of my own equipment. It's delicate. It's expensive. I, I definitely have to have a place to store it. But sharing a space with Colin's gear isn't the only concern Beth has as the due date approaches. The problem is, is that moving up here didn't move him any closer to his work. Beth also works downtown, and she also has to commute. Once we have a baby, I don't think we're going to be wanting to do all this driving at all. I just find being up here is very isolating. When we have a baby and I'm staying at home for a year, it's going to be even more isolating. I think what is going to end up happening is you and me are going to live here by ourselves. And I am I going so. to go crazy. Colin and Beth may agree that they need a functional home for their family, but they're at odds when it comes to the solution. This house can be fixed. I think that the only solution to this is to find another house that is ready to move into. With no end in sight and a baby on the way, this couple can't quite decide if they should stay and love their home or leave and list it. We spend way too much time talking about this issue. So it would be nice to actually clear this from the decks. Yeah. In one way or the other. Realtor David's discovery of a house with an impossible blend of urban convenience and suburban space has convinced homeowners Beth and Colin that a new home could be the solution to their growing family. I am completely shocked. I was positive that this was impossible. And here I am. Don't think that our house can really compare with the type uh, of space that we have well, here. I mean, I think that you need to give Hillary the benefit of the doubt and not make your decision until we've seen what she has to offer. With renovations of the couple's 1,800 square foot cottage complete, Beth and Colin get a look at Hillary's transformation. <laughs> this is your new second floor. It's as if we're in another house. Yes. Oh my God. It is. It's just, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It's Hillary, it is spectacular. Absolutely. And look at laundry. <laughs> right here, right where you need it. This is, yeah. the machines look amazing. They're we really needed to work. get you out of that basement. Yeah. 
and we did it. Much rather spend time here. Coming to a new bathroom. Oh, oh my God. God. And take a good long look at your tub. Oh my God. It's, uh... <laughs> Got a hand shower there, which is also going to be wonderful for when you're giving baby a bath because yes. you want to be able right, to. Point well taken. Yes. Uh, oh, I have. <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> I'm not stopping that. Wow. <gasps> oh, my God. If, if I were your guest, I'd probably really overstay my welcome. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about what this was, it didn't make any sense. And now, look what it, look what it's become. Oh. This room is, to me, just a dreamy, dreamy baby's room. It's peaceful, it's beautiful, it's very personalized. This crib is going to actually see your child all the way through to college, and it goes from being what you see here to toddler size, mm -hmm. and then it goes on from there to being a double. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm, I'm quite overwhelmed in um, more of a positive way than I could have ever imagined. Hey. Hi. How are you both doing? Good. Very good. Good. I will admit that this upstairs that was a bit of a nightmare mm. now looks great and functions the way it should. Yes. But is it enough to keep you from what I think is the perfect home, the suburban urban? 15 minutes from the city. And inside, the master bedroom level on the second floor, all to yourself. The house was done with lots of character. I think this is an easy decision, but it's not mine to make. Before you make your decision, though, I have one more listing to show you. Yours. The pre-renovation value of their home was $450,000. With $45,000 worth of renovations, the post-renovation value of their house is now $510,000. An increase to the home value by $60,000. Okay, now you have a decision to make. While Hillary hit the mark with a spectacular second floor for this growing family, she ran short on stretching her $45,000 budget to include reworking the office space and insulating the sunroom. Likewise, David finally found an ideally located new home, but it fell short on yard space. But now, it's out of these experts' hands. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. You did a great job, but I'm just not sure it's enough. Oh, really? You're not sure it's enough? The location of the other place and the fact that it had that one floor for just us. You know how hard it was for me to find what they wanted? Oh, a suburban urban? Are you kidding me? Excuse me, trust me, I had my fair share of that too. Colin is tough. Like I mean, the, the function of this space has completely changed. Yeah. How about all the things that didn't get done, though? Can we live with knowing that that basement won't be touched, knowing that there won't be an office? She was crying. You didn't see her. She, was she crying. cried? She cried. With joy, I might add. So you think we've made a decision? I think we've made a decision. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, decision made? Decision made. And, are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to... Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Despite David's impressive find, Hillary delivered on the couple's wish to have a finished and functional second floor. When Patrick and Kasha bought this 1,100-square-foot semi-detached house in an urban neighborhood, it appeared to be the perfect starter home for this creative couple. I am a sculptor. I work primarily with glass. And I'm a functional potter. When we were first looking for a place together, our real estate agent started to show us fixer-uppers because that's what we could afford at the time. When we first saw the house, it felt exactly like home. There was a new bathroom, a new kitchen, and uh, a lot of work looked like it had been done to the rest of the house. We got to our first winter, and we had ice form on all the walls in the second floor. We knew we had a big problem on our hands. We are starting to see through some of the cosmetic things that were done to the house and starting to see the problem coming through. And now we have to live with these problems. But seeing indications that their house needs major work isn't the only reason this young couple is restless. I'm about to have a baby. This house is not ready to have a baby in it. That makes things even doubly more stressful because I don't want to bring a baby into a house that might be dangerous. What do we do? We leave. We leave? <laughs> <laughs> we can make it right. While Patrick and Kasha are unsure if they should stay or sell, they certainly know what's wrong with the house. 
The biggest problem with the house right now is insulation. In the first winter, we had to sleep fully clothed, so we had a company come in, drill holes into the wall, and blow insulation in. But having paid all that money, it hasn't really helped at all. The closet doesn't have enough room for our clothes. It needs to be reworked. We have a spare room. The second bedroom is sort of a storage room. Now that we're having a baby, it's got to be a baby room. It's not the kind of space that I want to bring a baby into. It needs a little work. Uh, fix it up, <laughs> make it safe. Work. And all the upgrades and repairs needed aren't limited to the second floor. The main floor is very dark. And there's no real flow to the space. As artists, we've collected other artists' work. There isn't much room to display things. The kitchen has been a bit of a challenge for us. You can't really have other people in there with us while we're working. But the kitchen is separated from the rest of the house. So there's quite a divide when we have guests. It just feels like I'm a hired help. <laughs> You're not I'm used to serving help. tables. The basement is damp and it's dark and it's cold. I see a lot of potential in the basement. I could definitely see a studio down there. On top of our mortgage, uh, Patrick and I both individually pay for studio spaces for us to work in. Why are we paying studio rent when we can have a uh, space downstairs? I think it's a little nuts, but I still love you. <laughs> While Patrick sees some potential in the house, Kasha worries about all the problems and the stress is taking a toll. With all these problems with the house, she's actually having nightmares. And I want to find something that is guaranteed to not have any problems so we can just bring the baby in and it'll be safe right away. I love this house and I want to make it work. With their first baby on the way and the current home in disarray, the homeowners have to decide soon, will they fix up and love their house or will they pack up and list it? We need help. Yeah, to get this done. We need help. Okay. Real estate agent oh, David yeah. presented disgruntled homeowners Patrick and Kasha with a wild card, a 12th floor condo that offers the best of urban living. Kasha is eager to move, but Patrick has some reservations until he sees what improvements Hillary's made to their house. David found us a condo and it's worth considering. But then I think it'd be a big change for me to leave our house and move into a condo. Patrick's gonna hang on to the house to the last second. In the end, I think this decision's gonna have to come down to what is best for us and, and our family. Now it's designer Hillary's turn to show Patrick and Kasha the completed renovation, starting with the former guest room that's now their new nursery. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The shops. This will be a nice room to firm the grow up in. The yeah, crib is crib beautiful. Is nice. There you are. You can already imagine oh, yourself chair. sitting in your chair. Yeah, it's turned out really well, though, right? The really good thing about this is that it's safe, it's warm, it's cozy, and you've got your brand new window, and of course we've done a window covering so you can close out the light when you need to. Glad to see you smiling and looking happy. <laughs> it definitely feels like a real room now, as opposed to just something, you know, we just threw stuff in. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's a brick oh, wall. That was look nice. at that, that's beautiful. That's a great feature wall. In the <laughs> center panel, you have that's your beautiful. television <laughs> and, of course, storage. Oh, yeah. that's great. Then on the other side, you've got hanging, yeah. just as you have right here. Double hangs. So you've got nice. lots of space. You gave us some very explicit orders in terms of furniture. I mean, yes. there wasn't a lot of mincing words there. Headboard, of course, locally made, reclaimed timber from right here in the city. Wow. I'm hoping that this is a room where you feel you can really settle in and get a good night's sleep. What do you think? So far, it feels great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even... right in, <laughs> we could go test it right now. <laughs> no, but not yet. Not yet. OK, well, so now it's David's turn to have a chat with you, and then we'll all re-meet afterwards, OK? okay. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, Joe. Pretty exciting, huh? I mean, yeah. Yeah, the place looks fantastic. Looks yeah, great. looks pretty good. The search for a home for you both was more than just about space. It was about lifestyle and maintaining it. You're both artists. Yeah. You have workspaces outside your home, which you have to maintain and pay for. Well, the condo allows that to be affordable. At the price point you can buy it at, you can downsize your mortgage and easily afford those workspaces. Not only that, you're really not giving up very much in the downsizing process. You're getting a condo that gives you enough space for the family. It's done, so you don't have to spend any money on it. It's got a park, it's got a playground, it's got a pool that you don't have to maintain. 
the fact of having a place that's less maintenance than this house is going to allow you to spend more time with your family. And if that's not worth listing for, I don't know what is. Before you make your decision, I have one more listing to show you. And it's yours. The pre-renovation value of their home was $350,000. With a renovation budget of $18,000, the post-renovation value of their house is $380,000. That increases the value of their home by $30,000. Cash and Patrick have a big decision to make. You certainly do. Yeah, it's yeah, a big one. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? Designer Hillary and her team fixed some major problems on the second floor and upgraded the master bedroom and nursery for both parents and baby to enjoy. But she couldn't stretch the renovation budget to cover work that the homeowners wanted done on the main floor and in the basement. Realtor David found a move-in ready high-rise condo that was within budget and met most of the couple's requirements for a new home. But it didn't have a studio space, additional storage, or a private outdoor area. They put in a new roof and re it, so we don't have to worry about that. And you can feel the difference up here. You don't have a hope on this one. There is no way that they're going to be leaving this house. <laughs> we don't have a studio space in the basement, so we're still going to have to deal with that at some point, too. Baby's room looks fantastic. Their master bedroom looks fantastic. It's kind of where it is. That wood fireplace, I mean, that was a super bonus. Yeah, we don't have that here. No. Do you honestly think they're gonna give up a house like this for a cookie cutter box condo? I love having a back deck. The fact that we did do the important things that make this house really solid and stable makes this a viable long-term place for them to live. In the condo, it'd be uh, a totally different lifestyle. It is a very unique space, unlike the condo. I think we've made a decision. We're gonna find out soon enough. Decision made? I think so. Yeah. What's it gonna be? You gonna love it? Or are you going to list it? Uh, we're gonna list it. Yes! <laughs> Homeowners Jim and Connie moved into their house four years ago when it was the right size for the family. But now that they're thinking about another baby, the two-bedroom house simply doesn't fit. When we bought this house, it, it worked for us, but we're clearly outgrowing the space. Connie thinks there's not enough bedrooms for us to expand our family. How do you think that we could possibly have another child living in this house? Well, I'm sure for now they can share a bedroom. Connie and I argue about this all the time. We can make it work. But when are we gonna make it work? And aside from battle over bedrooms, Jim and Connie agree their small house has more issues. I do admit there are a few problems in the house. Our bedroom is tiny. With our bulky furniture, there's just no space for us. Closet space is very bad. We end up using Christian's uh, closet. In the morning, I have to sneak into his room to grab my clothes out of his closet. Yeah, uh, bathroom says is tiny. There's just no way the three of us can all get ready in that bathroom at the same time. Just about every morning I wake up, go downstairs just to have my shower and, and get ready. It just doesn't work for us. And as cramped as the upstairs is, the main floor needs just as much work. The dining room table is right by the front door, so anytime someone comes to the door and we're having dinner, a gust of wind will come through and it's just not comfortable. Trying to entertain in this house is impossible. My family's big. She has a lot of family too. And whenever we get together, we generally have to bring a table from outside the shed and bring it inside. My house just is absolutely not equipped for large scale celebrations. My kitchen is tiny. When we have big family dinners and we have both our moms in here trying to cook, there is just not enough counter space, not enough cupboard space. Our oven's not working at the time right now. We uh, have a small kitchenette in the basement, so we need to keep running down to the basement to put stuff in the oven and cook down there. Even without the possibility of a second child, they have a growing problem with storage. We have a growing boy who has way more stuff than he did when he was younger. We do have a room that's for his toys, but it just doesn't seem to be enough. We're finding it all over the house. All I hear is, Christian, clean up your toys. It would be great to have Christian's toys in a different area of the house. With the frustrations mounting, the couple can't decide what to do with their home. There is a lot of tension between the both of us. I'm finished with this house, and I know there are houses out there that have the space that we need. Moving would be just a pain in the butt. I believe this house can work for us. Homeowners Connie and Jim have been far apart when it came to what to do with their small house. But with Realtor David's latest listing, that gap is finally starting to close. I told David that if I had to move, I would, I would have to move up. 
and uh, this is definitely moving up. Jim is definitely coming around. But before they can make a decision about the listing, they've got to see the work Hillary and her team have completed in their home. I have a feeling you're really going to like the work that Hillary has done. We'll see. Hello. Come on in. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh Come my in. gosh. I'm just gonna close this door so we're wow. nice and cozy in here. This is so beautiful. Oh, isn't this wonderful? Beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's just like out of a magazine. Of course, one of the first things that you will notice, you will notice, all your walls have gone, just as you wanted, and the pillars that you were so concerned with now become a really nice feature of the design. Definitely. They really do. This is now a very, very functional grown-up living room. It's absolutely beautiful. Here we are now in your kitchen, which feels about oh, four times bigger, doesn't it? Look it at these definitely does. Yes. You have a wonderful new fridge, a new stove. Your cabinets just work beautifully with everything that we have done. Here's something that you didn't really have, which is a space that is your dining room area. Wow, it's so nice. It's beautiful. Okay, so what we have installed here is a phantom screen. They actually are retractable. So the entire screen... Wow, that's awesome. So one of the things you may or may not have actually noticed, which is there isn't a single toy up here. So let's go take a look downstairs and you'll see wow. where we stash them. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Christian she is going to love this. is going to love this. Holy. It's awesome. This is beautiful. I think you've totally outdone yourself. Your old storage room. Oh, wow. my gosh. Wow, that looks so good. Well, it is a guest bedroom, and it is also potentially a room for Christian, Christian when he grows up. And even though we still didn't get the bedroom, I feel like right now we can maybe hold off a little longer and figure it out later. This is all sounding so good that I don't even want to bother with David, I but I suppose you. I have to. Hey. Hi, David. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. good. Nice to see you both. So, you too. done the tour. It looks pretty wow. fantastic, eh? She Beautiful. did a spectacular job. But there is only one way I can see you staying in this home. And that is if you have decided that you are no longer planning to expand your family. Otherwise, really, the only way to go is with the beautiful three-bedroom older home that we looked at with the gorgeous Eden kitchen. I did love that home. I mean, not only does that meet your current and future needs, but it was done from top to bottom. You have a decision to make. But before you make that decision, I have one more thing to show you. Another listing, and it's yours. The pre-renovation value of their home was $450,000. With a renovation budget of $25,000, the post-renovation value of their house is $500,000. That increases the value of their home by $50,000. That's amazing. That home was a little over budget, but I think this helps that out. Hillary. Hi. Hey. Jim and Connie have a big decision to make. Yes, you do. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? Hillary faced a lengthy list of must-haves in the small house and was able to deliver an open concept main floor and a contained playroom with space to spare in the basement. But the budget simply couldn't create a third bedroom upstairs or expand the bathroom. David promised to find a home with enough space for the family to expand. And despite having three bedrooms and two bathrooms, the main floor was not as open concept as the couple had hoped. They really did a good job at our house. Yeah, looks pretty. Darn amazing. I gotta tell you, this place looks great. Wow, thank you. But I do think he's gonna love the playroom. And I, I think I'm gonna really enjoy spending time with him too, down there. But you did not see Connie's face when she walked into this new main floor and it just got better and better and better. The house that we saw did have a, um, a big playroom area for Christian. Mm -hmm. With a big, nice bathroom off off of it, too. That's true. I really love the job you did on the upstairs bathroom, too. Wow, it's amazing. I, I didn't even recognize it. We still don't have that third bedroom. That's a major thing. That's true. They're wrestling with this right now, you can see that. If not, we would already no longer be chatting here. We'd be standing right there and they'd be giving us a decision. So clearly it's not quite as cut and dried as you thought. You made up your mind? Mm-hmm. 
they've made a decision. Okay. Let's go. So, decision made? Yep, and it was a hard one. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to list it. Yes. See, I told you I was right. Homeowners Andrew and Julie lived in the neighborhood and watched as their dream home was built. We always had our eye on it. We thought they were doing a really nice job. And looking from the outside in, the house met all the needs of their family. It was topped up with obviously a brand new second floor and the attic space. We were told that there was potential to use the attic space for additional living space. One day we saw the for sale sign and we headed over. He said, we can't afford that house. And that was on a Sunday, and uh, on Tuesday, we owned it. After buying the home, they fell in love with the extra space. But when their third child was born, the once spacious home seemed much smaller and less functional for their growing family. Their two daughters, Taylor and Parker, share a room, and the bedroom layout affects their son, Carter, as well. It mostly affects him when he's doing his homework at night. Often the girls are running around, not letting him concentrate. Mom! And the girls' sleep schedule makes it difficult to share a room without disturbing one another. At nighttime, it can be distracting. Sometimes um, Parker, our youngest daughter, goes to bed before our five-year-old. That doesn't always work out if one's trying to sleep and the other's getting their PJs on. And the bathrooms seem to be located in the wrong places. I do use this main floor bathroom quite often for bathing the children and going up and down the stairs, carrying kids, soaking wet and towels can also be a bit of a challenge. At nighttime when the kids get up, if they've got to use the washroom, they're wandering down the hall on their own. If the kids go out into the hallway and turn the wrong way, they're going to take a big tumble down the stairs. With three kids, having laundry in the basement is a hassle going up a couple flights of stairs with loads of laundry every day can be a little bit much. And storage is an issue on all the floors. Our bedroom, we have two very small closets. We're popping at the seams with them. We also have a linen closet in our hallway upstairs, and it's always, always jam full. Hi, guys. Well, this is the moment of truth. Come on up. So here we are. Parker's now has her very own bedroom. Oh, it just opens it up so much. That's great. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a really good size room now. Yeah. Obviously, it looks massive That's with just a little crib in it. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. This is... Wow. Now, the reason that there is much less clutter, mm -hmm. clothes in particular, is... Ta da <laughs> That is unbelievable. Isn't it fabulous? Oh I, my gosh. I mean, you have so much storage space oh here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, is this it, is, is exactly... it right for a man to love a walk in closet? Oh my gosh. The skylight. Look at that. Yeah, that skylight has a rain sensor. So if you have it open and it starts to rain, it knows that it should shut. Come on. Really? How yep. fabulous. Look at this. That is... Oh, my God. It's perfect. <laughs> Our upstairs has a foyer. It does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go into Carter's room next. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my gosh. I love oh. that. Storage galore. Storage Gee. galore. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at the fans. That is very cool. So that's just an added bonus because he doesn't yeah. really need it because, as you'll see, oh, yeah. he has yeah. his very own climate-controlled air conditioning unit. In you go. Oh, look at this. Oh. This is spectacular. So, like uh, Carter, oh, my gosh. lots of storage built yep. in here. And she has her own closet right there. I said very, I wasn't going to cry. Very. <laughs> uh, to me, it's just so pretty oh. without being cloying pretty. It's just yep. wow. fresh and lovely. I want to show you the new door and the Juliet balcony. What, yep, what, brand what new is door. this? That is a room fan. <laughs> um, I can't I get this. over this it. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, oh, look at that. 
love I love that color. Look at that. Is that cool? Oh, on the, the blue tile in the shower. This Please. is definitely not what I was expecting after our conversation. Last conversation. <laughs> no kidding. Well, I mean, the other part of it too is, I mean, you know, if you sell this house, you know, you don't know who's going to buy it and, That's and, true. and what, what the what the people who the people are going to be up okay, there. Okay, well, we'll end this conversation right here because oh. I'm not really interested in you selling this house, <laughs> David. Well, you guys have a decision to make. Okay. A what big one. a big one. You know, what is the best option for your family? This house or that fabulous two-story brand new house that we <laughs> looked at? I believe that is the best option for you. But Andrew and Julie have one more listing to see. Theirs. The pre-renovation value of their house was $700,000. With renovations of $55,000, the post-renovation value is now $795,000 which has increased the value of their home by $95,000. Look at that. That's surprising. Which makes that home extremely affordable. Hillary was able to provide enough bedrooms for each of the kids, add the must-have third bathroom in the attic, and create more storage. But the budget couldn't stretch to finish the basement or move the laundry upstairs. David's latest listing provided the couple with all their must-haves and then some, all for a price they could hardly believe. So? I don't know. I think we're in a really tough spot. I can tell they are not having an easy time of this. No. There were some really, really great features to that other house. Because there's so many pluses and minuses. You know, you got my house with the four bedrooms all on the one level. It's a nice house. Yeah, but you know what? I think that now she's seen this configuration, she realizes that actually this is excellent. In our house, we still have the, the unfinished basement to contend with. No, I'm still feeling pretty good about this. I think they're ready to move. Are you ready? Do you know what you want to do? I think so. You? Yeah. Well, looks like they've made a decision. Okay. All right, here, here they go. come. So we, uh, I think we've made our decision. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? I think we're going to love it. Oh, excellent! <laughs> Two years ago, Pam and Paul bought the suburban home of their dreams. We bought it the first day it was on the market, jumped at it, pounced, and we got it. We've been in the neighborhood for 10 years. We knew the street, and it was a very easy fit. It's closer to the school, so it was perfect. At 2,800 square feet, it had all the space they needed for their two sons and gave them an extra bedroom. We needed the fourth bedroom because Paul's mom was going to move in with us for a bit uh, as she was quite ill. We lost her uh, shortly after we bought the house, so the fourth bedroom just is upstairs empty. We did a handful of things around the house to kind of make it our own, primarily upstairs, painted everything, and then with the passing of my mother, changing things in the house. Went to the bottom of the important list. I have never settled in this home, and I don't know what it is, and I don't know if I, to be honest, if I can be settled in this home. It's like pulling teeth to get them to notice the changes that could possibly make this place a lot better. I think we could be happier somewhere else that makes it feel more like home. You keep saying this house has never been loved. So that's our job. We're here to love it. Unhappy with the way things are, Pam and Paul assess their situation and figure out what needs to change, starting on the first floor. The floor is divided by walls, and with the kitchen being in the center, it's kind of an awkward position. It doesn't feel as big as it really is. The kitchen floor drives me crazy. We make fun of it. We call it the snakeskin kitchen floor. When you wash the laminate floor, it becomes a new skating rink for the boys, and they think that that's great fun. The living room of the fireplace tends to be the space where we have adult space right now. So you're sitting down trying to have a conversation, and the boys are running through the space. We barely use the room at all. What's supposed to be the family room is far too small, so we've taken over the living room. We have the TV in there because it's the larger space for the boys. We never have any space to ourselves. But the problems aren't limited to the main floor. A major problem for Paul is found throughout the house, especially upstairs. The carpet, there's just way too much of it. It doesn't help that we have a cat that is shedding a lot of hair nonstop. I'm actually on pills for my allergies right now so I can avoid sneezing and runny nose. And the amount of dust, oh my lord, you don't realize how much dust a carpet holds. Once we get hardwood floors down, you won't even notice that we even have a cat. <laughs> yes, we will. The master bedroom is ridiculously big. We don't know what to do with it. 
My bedroom is the hockey arena for the boys. It's become their playroom as opposed to the basement where we'd like them to go. Come on, guys. Jesse, you're going to break the TV with the stick. Now get out. The master ensuite, it's very dated. The shower is moldy and the rather large swimming pool tub leaks. There's only one plug in the whole bathroom, so we bump into each other because it's right in the door frame. So it's very inconvenient. Finally, they have a large finished basement, but the space is underutilized. The basement is all choppy, very similar to the main floor. It's got one space where the boys will play some games. I wish we had a separate office area so we could actually have the computer, have where all our bills, everything are, and they'd be well organized. I have the pleasure of working in the music business. I have a lot of memorabilia that I've gathered over my career from various artists. No, that's not boxes and for you, that's all daddy's record collector stuff. Right now, it's all packed up in boxes, and I haven't got around to hanging anything up. It would be very nice to be able to display that and give it its own space so the boys can't knock it over. Pam and Paul's spacious suburban home seemed ideal, but it's been an exercise in frustration for the last two years. Realtor David thrilled Paul with a move-in ready house nearby. He actually got Pam this time around, which was nice to see her come around. But designer Hillary has remodeled the space, which Pam has been wanting for a long time. I can't give up on our house yet. It's I have to see what Hillary does. And Hillary's ready to welcome the couple home. Let's move on in. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is our home. It's, it's wow. lovely. Let's talk about this space first of all. Of course, getting the wall out was the key, but by having these dropped beams, it actually has worked very well to define the space. So what you have now, instead of that dining room, which was yeah. pretty soulless and underused, this has become a really wonderful area for you and your family to sit and watch your beautiful new television. So what you have is a brand new gas fireplace. And of course, everything you see around it is also custom. So it's sort of sophisticated, but it's still absolutely family friendly. Now let's move into this dining room area. A beautiful harvest table. It's Isn't lovely. it gorgeous? It is. And I of course, it. with the two pendants over it, it really will make the dinner party nice. perfect. All right, now. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at it. You can keep an eye on the children. Yep, and it's it becomes, right there, it's handy. And it manages to also keep enough room here to give you a little space where you could sit and have coffee exactly where we've set it up. My goodness. Oh, yes. And look at that, my mum's first thing. It's a good spot for it. This is nice. Like that. All right, so let's move on in now to your new kitchen area. And the French doors look nice. And French doors. Oh, yes, wow. look at that. Now we have another room outside. Yeah. Now, you also have, of course, a completely custom kitchen. Yes. This is a beautiful sink oh, yeah. because it's cast iron, lots of counter space, and, of course, the hardwood floors running throughout mm -hmm. just bring everything together and give you this incredible flow. Mm -hmm. That's and doesn't love. it look huge? It does. It was sort of like broken down rooms before, and now it's like it flows right through. I think that you have got a space that really does give you what you needed here. And your new living room with brand new doors. It's look at this. beautiful. So this has become a place that is, I think, very much you because yeah. it isn't formal. It's very comfortable. So we went with a very neutral palette so that all of the pictures and every single thing that we have in here really pops. And let's close these doors up. Oh, yeah, and look at that. And here no, you there, are. there we are. Oh, this yeah. is your space. Now comes the time to hand you over to David. I will admit that this place looks great. But I have to say, hands down, the two-story house we looked at from start to finish is a better match for your family. You've got that incredible living room with like 20 foot ceilings and the office space for you, Paul. Upstairs, great bedrooms and enough bathrooms for everybody so no one has to share. Folks, it's time to move, but that decision is yours. Before you make that decision, one more listing to show you, and it's yours. Wow. The pre-renovation value of their home was $600,000. With renovations of 70,000, the post-renovation value is now $720,000, which has increased the value of their home by $120,000. That's impressive. Yeah. Now you have a decision to make. Designer Hillary was able to open up a large span of the main floor, giving them a new family room, dining room, and kitchen combination. 
She also updated the formal living room, but was unable to remodel any of the space upstairs or in the basement. Meanwhile, David found the family a beautiful modern home in their school district. While it was move-in ready, it was also $55,000 above their budget. I'm stunned. I wasn't expecting all of this. Like Hillary, she did a phenomenal job. I know all this looks great and they're probably excited about it, but what they're not excited about is everything that hasn't been done in this house. Oh, you're so predictable. Do you know how beautiful a ravine is to back on to? Well, if, as long as you're not scared of lions and tigers and bears, I would think. Where did you think I was showing them stuff? In the jungle? I love what Hillary's done here, but there is still work to do here. A lot of work to do here. I showed them a house that was done from top to bottom. This isn't. It was out of their budget. Not that much. As David pointed out, we can afford the other place. Now look at Plus, you increase the value here, which is going to help them out. Thank you very much. I think we know what our decision is. I think we made a decision. Okay, it looks like they made a decision. Let's go. Let's go find it. All right, so have we made a decision? We have. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? Well, it's been a hard decision. We're going to... It's fabulous. Just seeing all our stuff in here, it made yeah. it feel like our home. It and really, it really does. is. When Dan and Rich found a 2,000 square foot split level ranch house in the suburbs, they knew it was the perfect home for their family. I loved this home when I first moved into it because we have two boys, and the two boys needed to have their own room and their own space. The backyard, when I saw it, I thought, wow, because it was a, an easel for me with this beautiful big garden. We saw that it had a lovely pool, and we really wanted to have some type of recreation. We just had a really good time here for many years. Except now, 10 years later, the kids are out of the house, and the space no longer works for the two of them. Dan and I are not seeing eye to eye. And it causes a lot of disagreement. This house is full of problems. I want to get a house that is less maintenance. I want to be the person to be able to relax with my friends and family, you know, in a smaller place. I think you're just not giving it a chance. Now that the kids are gone, this house is perfect for our retirement years. This isn't the house I see myself retiring in. Rather than fighting all the time, let's get out of here. I say we can fix the problem and, and that will solve what are the issues that we're having between us. I don't agree. While Dan and Rich are at a stalemate over what to do, they're both tired of living in an outdated home. We love to cook and entertain a lot, but it's totally cramped at the front door and it doesn't really make it easy to entertain guests. As soon as you let somebody in, the other people have to shift like dominoes. It's the battle. Well, the kitchen is much too small for us. Dan and I both love to cook and we're big guys. When Dan and I are cooking together, it's usually a fight. We're always pushing and shoving each other out of the way. Oh my God, I'm so tired of fighting for space in the kitchen. The kitchen does not have a lot of cupboards in it, so all our food and all our uh, big pots and pans are located in a different part of the house. We have a pantry that's downstairs, uh, another storage area in our laundry room, in our garage where we have things that we don't use very often. I'm really just getting sick and tired of going up and down the stairs. I want everything on one floor. I can still see myself running out to the garage to find the crock pot. I think we'll solve that problem. The wine glasses. We'll solve that problem too. The roast pan. Okay. Okay, enough. <laughs> it's tough to entertain because we can't see our guests. There's a wall separating the dining room and the kitchen. And generally, I'm in the other room and I'm getting the evil eye because <laughs> I'm not helping. I've always dreamed of having a gourmet kitchen. If we could get rid of a wall, then we'd have much better entertaining space. I have four things to say. Ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. <laughs> This upper floor of our house has uh, approximately two and a half bedrooms. Because of our situation of our children not being here as often, we have a lot of small rooms that are not being used. Rooms are empty all the time. So I shut the doors and pretend they're not there. I don't feel we have enough room here in the master bedroom, so the closet space is so small that we're dumping clothes in other locations. We need to have a larger bedroom. The bathroom on the upper floor is just outdated. I feel that at this stage in my life, I should have a better bathroom. Yet not everything about the house is unappealing. While the interior lacks style, the exterior looks great. I love this backyard, but it's too much for me right now. You know who does all the work around the pool? Yeah, our pool boy. Yeah, me, <laughs> without the body from 10 years ago. Dan and Rich once loved their suburban split-level home, but as of late, all they feel is stress. We don't agree about anything anymore. 
Realtor David stunned them with a move-in ready property nearby. Except for the price, this house is perfect for us. What do we do? What do we do? But it's designer Hillary's turn to show the homeowners her vision brought to life. And in you come. Oh my God. Holy moly. Whose house is this? As you can see right away, something of a transformation. Starting with this incredible new front door. I love really the design. Nice new More. closet. Look at the new closet. Got a new closet. What you have is exactly what you wanted. Yeah. Without the walls, you have a truly open plan main floor. In terms of making this work for entertaining, which I know is so important to you, we created a little sitting area right there, oh. as you can see. So that'll be lovely for the two of you, yeah. mm -hmm. and it will also work really well when you have friends over. Yeah. Because that, combined with seating at the counter, will give you a lot of places for friends to sit and chat and interact. You have this wonderful breakfast bar, which this beautiful new material, this is actually glass. It is. You have your double <laughs> fridge. Yeah. This main floor is probably everything that you dreamt of and hopefully a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You hold on to that thought because I'm going to go and call David so that he can have a chat with you and then we'll re-meet. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Got a bit of a challenge here. Really? Uh, I think so. Yes, you have a great main level now, but I know you guys. And at some point, you are gonna start complaining about the rest of the space in this house that doesn't stack up to the standard that this level has set. So it's time to downsize and upgrade to the home that we looked at. It gives you less than what you have here, but it also gives you everything that you want. The kitchen, cathedral ceilings, amazing for entertaining. Let's talk about the master suite that Hillary didn't deliver. That house delivered it in spades. Now, before you make your decision, I have one more listing to show you, and it's yours. The pre-renovation value of their house was $320,000. With a renovation budget of 90,000, the post-renovation value of their home is $420,000. That increases the value of their home by $100,000. Excellent. So, I think it makes it a little more affordable to the house that was over budget, mm -hmm. so. but gave you everything you wanted. Mm -hmm. Designer Hillary successfully opened up their once cramped main floor, giving them a stylish new dining area and a gourmet kitchen. But expensive structural solutions and redesign left little in the budget to remodel the master bedroom. Meanwhile, David delivered a house that met all of Rich and Dan's must-haves, except that it was well over budget. It's amazing what she's done in here. This main floor is very impressive. I know there's a bat coming. No, that's all I got to say, though. Oh, OK. Here, however, we have still have issues here. We have an incredible main floor, which has completely eradicated any of the shortfalls anywhere else. We've got the stairs still. This has made them think differently about the other levels. This is actually going to make it worse for them, because every time they go anywhere else in the house, they're going to go, oh, my god, it doesn't look like the main level but the last one was spectacular. It was, but it was way out of budget, Dan. I guess there's just a little issue because of financing. Have you sorted that out for them? Yeah, no, no, actually, you sorted it out by raising the value of their house. I, I know it's not the, not the house of your dreams, but I still hold on to it as this is the house of my dreams. If I had a choice, I would definitely want to spend more money on a smaller house. There's still only two of us here. Smaller house, it's a house that has two beautifully done levels. We can go back and forth, back and forth, but we have to make a decision. They made a decision, let's go. So, decision made. Yeah. Yes, I think we have. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? I think we're going to love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Less than a year ago, Julie and Sherry pooled their resources to purchase a beautiful 1,800 square foot brick home in the city. We were looking for really three separate units. So a unit for her, a unit for myself and Alyssa, my daughter, and um, some income potential in the basement. My sister and I thought it would be really a good investment for the two of us. I fell in love with the house immediately. Charm, character, high ceilings, backyard. The location is up and coming. It needed a little work. There was a lot of positive to it until we moved in. That's because the house is not set up as they've envisioned. 
while Sherry and her daughter have everything they need on the second and third floors. Julie has no bedroom or bathroom on the main level. So instead of using the basement as an income apartment, it's turned into Julie's living space. I made the biggest mistake of my life buying this place. I don't understand why she can't see the potential in the house. You've got two beautiful floors. You know, I have the, uh, the main floor and, and basement. It feels unsafe to me. The location's not so great. We're beside a very busy street. Before I get into bed, I walk over to the door. I make sure it's locked. I double check it because I am quite anxious in this room. Julie Lynn, I wanted you to move up into the living room so that you wouldn't feel that the basement was your only option. But if option. I moved on to the living room, then I have to go all the way downstairs to use the loo. So while the basement bedroom remains the practical choice for Julie, it's a far cry from being her relaxing sanctuary. The furnace is, is an issue because it's extremely loud. So every time it goes on and off, it wakes me up. I understand, you know, that it interrupts Julie's sleep, um, but it's something that we can change. The laundry room is right outside my bedroom door. And so I'm running up and down, you know, all the flights of stairs. Ideally, it would be better to have laundry on every floor. And both sisters have issues with their kitchens. My kitchen is the most dysfunctional kitchen I have ever had. My kitchen isn't perfect either. I mean, there's no cupboard space. I have to, you know, display all my food on a baker's rack. My kitchen is freezing. I have to use a little portable heater to stay warm. I have plastic covering my window. These fun-loving sisters get along most of the time. As much as I love living with my sister, there is no privacy. The entryway of the house, it works for a single family. Sherry will come into the house with her friends and they're laughing and they're making noise. Oh, hi, Julie. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing? good. I'm just trying to chill. Close the doors so that there's privacy. Oh, you create your you own privacy. Don't get it. No, and you don't get it. Just behind the kitchen, I have a office. In order for me to get to the backyard, I have to go through Julie's apartment. And that's not comfortable for either of us. And it's freezing in that room. You I could use a baseboard here. Oh, and blow a fuse. Which is a common occurrence, no matter what part of the house they're in. So whenever we plug in any minor appliances, um, a fuse blows. I've had to go down in the middle of the night into Julie's bedroom and flip the breaker. We're very close. We've always gotten along. To lose the friendship and the closeness I have with my sister over a house is just not worth it. Yeah, this house is worth the effort, it's worth the renovation, and it's worth staying here. Both sisters have a financial stake in the house, but disagree about what to do with it. Sherry loves the place, but Julie is ready to list it. I'm going to win this No way or not, I am. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Realtor David successfully met Sherry's high expectations for a new home with his latest showing, but it may not be the upgrade in living arrangements that Julie was looking for. If we buy this house, my sister's getting the better deal. Julie benefits from the other place for all the renovations on the ground floor. Now it's designer Hillary's turn to show off the conversion of their house into the triplex they've been looking for. going to be okay, all right? You now have a door. I have a door! That makes a world of difference. Let's go into your new kitchen. Oh my god. It now becomes, I think, a beautiful kitchen. Obviously, you've got these fabulous new dark stained cabinets that go all the way up to the ceiling and that's nice in terms of the profile there, it sort of ties in with the rest of the house. You asked us to give you a workspace. Yes. And here's your workspace. So, there's your little laptop. Wow. There's a receptacle right there. And here's a little space, you can clear it off and this can become a workspace. The dark wood is gone. Yes. Oh. And do you miss it? I don't. 
Here we go. Sherry, what? <laughs> now is how you used to get out into okay. the office space. Okay. And we flipped it over, so it now is here. Oh! You have a gas is... fireplace. Oh, my god! This is all natural stone. <gasps> I can't believe this is the same. We still have something else to go look at. So we come do? on. Yes, we hey. do. Your own laundry room that has nothing to do with your tenant. Oh, no. Importantly, <laughs> we have a brand new furnace. That's it incredible. will, most importantly, Sherry, heat your kitchen. Okay. Uh, David is waiting for you up on the main floor, and then I'll meet up with you in a few minutes, okay? okay. Excited? Yes, very excited. I mean, for Julie, look, for I Julie. Mean, well, exactly. I mean, I look around, and this is amazing for one of you. I have to admit. What I'm proposing today is also a little one-sided and it would be one-sided for Sherry. Exactly. There is a big difference between this one and the one that I showed you, location. So if you are going to invest some money in either one, it's better to do it to the one that has a better location in terms of the return on the money that you're going to put into it. Let's not forget, you guys have a rental unit. Because you're in a better area, you're gonna have no problem renting it out. Before you make your decision, I have one more listing to show you. Okay. And it's yours. The pre-renovation value of the house was $600,000. With renovations of $75,000, the new estimated value of their home is now $720,000, which has increased the overall value by $120,000. I think that has a huge impact on the ability to purchase that property that we looked at in a better location. Hillary was able to create an entirely new apartment out of the first floor of the home for Julie, complete with a separate entryway, bedroom, and bathroom. Although there was no room in the budget for a separate office, laundry upstairs, and a new kitchen for Sherry, the house has an electrical system that is up to code and an efficient new furnace. Meanwhile, David managed to find a charming triplex in an ideal location, but only one unit was updated to the sister's satisfaction. With an over-budget list price and two less desirable apartments, would they still fight over the living arrangements? You always get everything. You've got everything here that you wanted. I do. It used to be good for Sherry. Now it's good for Julie. It's actually good for both of them. I'm sorry. Let's not look around. I have everything that I'd like at the other house. If you had seen the two floors that I showed her, she now has that image in her mind when she goes upstairs. And it's not even close. I love this unit now. Well, but Why you know, wouldn't you? walking out the front door, that's another story. Sherry still has a great apartment upstairs. She still has a nice space for her daughter to use. And most importantly, they have, without doing one stroke of work, they have a unit downstairs ready to rent tomorrow. I don't know how to decide. Let's flip a coin. Flip a coin. OK, so decision made. Decision yes. made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to love it. For young couple Christian and Lindsay, their first home together holds a unique connection that goes way back. Growing up, I was always at this house. It has a huge place in my heart. It was actually my grandmother's home. And when she passed away about five years ago, I ended up buying it from the rest of my family. Christian and I had been dating when I actually bought the house, and this is now our home. When I first stepped foot in the house, I was like, whoa, this is a blast from the past. This house is totally 70s. Things can change. We can easily update wallpaper. We can get rid of blue sinks. Yeah, seems like kind of a tall order. Bringing this house into the century is going to be way too much work. We should move. I can admit that this isn't necessarily my style. We've been really lucky to have hand-me-downs. This house just doesn't feel like ours. I totally want you to feel comfortable, Christian. I really do. We can make this home work for us and make it feel like ours. In the 70s, I think it was in style to really section off each room so it's very dark. Like, one of the brightest rooms in the house is the living room. I think I've been in that room like three times. But it could be reworked, so it would be great. Our kitchen's crazy. The first thing you notice is that there's absolutely zero space. Right now, there's two people in the kitchen, and it already feels a little tight. 
Right? He does. Yeah. I can agree with you right. there. I mean, the oven could be an antique piece. It is that old. These are just Fine. appliances. Those are things that can be easily fixed. I mean, the dining room is tiny and tight. When we host a family, we've got people in the kitchen. We have people in the dining room. We have people in the sunroom where it's really cold in the winter and it's so hot in the summer. Lots of people have made their sunrooms four season spaces. Lots of millionaires. I have the least manly man cave of all time. That's just cosmetics. Your you grandma's man down the cave. Wallpaper. I call it a sad cave because it's so small. It's kind of hard to fit, you know, three or four or five guys in this one chair. It's not a reason to sell the house. Our guest bathroom is hilarious with the color. It screams 70s. Um, but as also you can notice over my shoulder here, there's a, uh, a drying rack. OK, why is there a drying rack? Our wonderful laundry room is in the guest bathroom. Also, a pantry. Nobody wants to be keeping their food and laundry where people go to the bathroom. That's not a big deal. And the laundry has a sliding door. We don't even have enough space to put all our food in the kitchen. This doesn't make sense. One of the areas that drives me absolutely insane is the baby blue master bathroom. If you can fit in here, come on in. Oh, it's a little tight in here. When we're trying to get ready in the morning, it gets a little hairy in here. The shower is so tiny, and it's so hard to clean. Wait, did you just say clean? I have been known to clean the shower, too. It's the moment of truth for Lindsay and Christian as they figure out whether to graduate to a new home or embrace where they already are and they arrive to see Hillary's transformation of their home. You are shaking with excitement. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go. Check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you OK? This is awesome. It looks so good. Oh, this is wow. awesome. The focal point of this room is the famous fireplace. And of course, without the wall that then went into the dining room, you just get the full impact of a beautiful, beautiful living space. This is awesome. This is amazing. Let's move on. OK. Wow. wow. So much brighter in here. It really is. Everything is bright and white. Look at all the cabinets. You have huge space for pantry, for storage. This is a dream kitchen. This is blowing me away. All right, so now let's talk about the entertaining elements. Oh, yes, let's. This is now sort of integrated into really both the living space and the kitchen space. The table is key, and on each end, there is an extension. We'll be able to host this all so of awesome. our friends and family in so one awesome. room. Pretty good so far. So far, yes. Amazing, Amazing. so far. Yeah. Okay. Get on in there. What? This is so much better. <laughs> this is incredible. This is your original cabinet painted in gray. This is great. This is awesome. This yeah, is this way, is, this, this is, is, this is, is really great. awesome. Surprise. Okay, good. All right. All right, Game Boy. Oh, wow. This is awesome. You and your buddies can hang out Absolutely. here. Oh, I'm so glad you have a space for you. Me too. So there you go. It is your space. This is awesome. Look how bright and this open this is. <laughs> It looks so much bigger. It really does. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about the closet. I'm surprised of how much space there actually is, but you really worked some magic in there. You've actually got a lot of space. I really like this. This is really cool. Oh Look my, at all this space. Oh my gosh. Look how white it is. It's not blue. Oh, I love it. That was your closet, now it's your shower. This is amazing. You've got storage that is open there, the open shelves, and then loads of storage in the vanity. This is great. This is awesome. I mean, I really do think this home is a place that you can grow into. But David is waiting to meet up with you. Yeah, see what he has to offer, So I guess. go yeah. talk to him, and okay. I'll catch up with you in a bit, OK? All right, sounds great. All Thanks right. so much. This is a great option for you guys, but there are other options out there. 
one that we looked at. You walk into that house and you have a living room. It had a formal dining room and it had a great eat-in kitchen, family room combination. Then you go upstairs where you've got a dedicated guest room and the master bedroom. In the lower level, the designated lower level for you and your friends to hang out. Also on the lower level, you have a walkout to the almost Olympic size pool. I think it's an option worth considering. So before you make your decision, I have one more listen to show you, and it's yours. This is now the current value of your home. Okay. Yeah. The pre-renovation value of their home was $170,000. And with a reno budget of $80,000, the new estimated value of their home is $255,000. That's an increase of $85,000. That raises the value considerably and makes the house more affordable. It definitely makes it a tough decision. Definitely. In the end, Hillary was able to open up and beautifully update the main living spaces of their home while creating a gaming room for Christian and beautifully transforming their master bathroom. But she wasn't able to do the same for the guest bathroom or create a four season sunroom. David, on the other hand, found them a spacious character home with plenty of room for a game room and a show-stopping pool. But it needed some work and it was over budget. I will full out admit that it's a better kitchen than the one that I showed them. Can we just get to the bot? I think Hillary's done an amazing job here. More square footage. It's never ever come up that there isn't enough square footage in this house. It will be if they have kids. Down the road, if we start to build a family, the other house seems to have more bedrooms. Two location. Cutting my commute in half would be amazing. Yeah. Three, and it's a pretty big one. Come on is a pool and a big backyard. Which is really nice, but more space is more maintained. Yeah, that's a good point. Everything that you're saying is a logical reason for them to choose that house over this house. I'm just so torn. I have I no idea. They're do. both good options. Logic has nothing to do with how they're going to make a decision. It's going to Almost. Come. You think we got a decision? Yeah, I think we got a decision. Okay. Okay, so, decision made? Decision made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? Well, after a lot of discussion, we've decided to... Love it. Ha, ha, ha! Is it because it's Grandma's house? <laughs> Grandma's house, right? Well, the kitchen blew us away. The master bedroom and bathroom are amazing. We couldn't say no. I thought the pool would have swayed you a little yeah. more, though. It was very close, but because it was $60,000 over budget, we just couldn't go there. Oh, how odd you didn't mention that bit. You didn't ask me. <laughs> you got to ask for that kind of information. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm so glad you're staying here. And I think you could stay here for many, many years. Thank Lindsay. you so much. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. We won't leave you out either. Come right. on, David. It was a pleasure. Appreciate it was a pleasure. All right, guys, we'll enjoy it. We will.